Hey guys, this is Vlad with 2 minute yoga tip and today we'll talk about first steps toward handstand. Headstand. First steps toward headstand. It's always exciting to do headstand. It's a little bit intimidating, but it took me around 8 months to develop it and I'm sure if you spend a little bit of time, be patient, it will happen to you. I'm guessing that your plank pose and side plank pose are solid so your body is ready for the inversion. If this is the case, come up on all fours. From here, bring your forearms to the floor and I want you to grab your opposite elbows. So when you're grabbing the elbows, you create perfect distance between your, uh, between your shoulders. So your shoulder right under your elbow. And now we create this basically triangle. So I'm going to put my head, the top of my head, right on the floor in my hands. I'm squeezing my fingers as much as I can, which helps me to engage my arm muscles. And then I'm lifting my shoulders. This is one of the most common mistakes, dropping the shoulders. So lift your shoulders, squeeze the fingers, curl your toes and lift your feet, lift your knees from the floor and then walk your feet forward. This is dolphin pose, one of the essential poses to develop headstand. If it's easy, maybe bring your head to the floor and make sure it doesn't feel funny on your neck. If it does feel funny, take a break. If it feels okay, let's go for further. Walk your feet a little bit more and then maybe lift one leg up and just stay here. See how it feels. If it's funny, rest. If it's okay, let's switch the legs. Lift the other leg up and then rest again. If it feels good, walk your feet even closer, then lift leg up and bring the other knee to your chest. So you're hanging here. In this case, if you fall it, you're falling forward instead of landing on your back. <sighs> if it feels good, try it again. Always after you practice your headstand, do some movement with your neck and be patient, keep practicing, and one day the magic will happen.